Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, FAA closes SpaceX Starship mishap investigation, German hydrogen company completes liquid H2 flight, SoCal CAF wings Bearcat to see full paint job under restoration. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. FAA closes SpaceX Starship mishap investigation. The FAA has issued a brief statement in which they state that they have closed the SpaceX Starship Super Heavy mishap investigation. The final report cites multiple root causes of the April 20, 2023 mishap and 63 corrective actions SpaceX must take to prevent mishap reoccurrence. Corrective actions include redesigns of vehicle hardware to prevent leaks and fires, redesign of the launch pad to increase its robustness, incorporation of additional reviews in the design process, additional analysis and testing of safety-critical systems and components including the autonomous flight safety system, and the application of additional change control practices. The closure of the investigation does not signal an immediate resumption of Starship launches at Boca Chica. SpaceX must implement all corrective actions that impact public safety and apply for and receive a license modification from the FAA that addresses all safety, environmental, and other applicable regulatory requirements prior to the next Starship launch. And after the break, Young Eagles Air Academy registrations open. I think it's a very important thing to share the joy and love of flying. Our customers fly to remote places. They use our products to go places that are difficult to get to. Parts has been an excellent partner for Whip Air, uh, just in terms of your product support, as well as keeping an eye on the market and developing new products that meet demands. And it is that shared experience and the joy of flying that brings us all back and charges all of our batteries up. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some shorter stories. Young Eagles Air Academy registration opens. The EAA has opened reservations for its summer teen education programs for 2024. The EAA Air Academy in Oshkosh, Wisconsin offers 12 to 18 year olds an aviation focused getaway with three different skill and experience levels available. The first, the Young Eagles Camp is appropriate for ages 12 to 13 and runs for two four day spans in June. The second level is the EAA Basic Air Academy for ages 14 to 15, held at the tail end of June to the second week in July. The highest level, the EAA Advanced Air Academy, targets the 16 to 18 crowd, with sessions running in late July to early August. World War II pilot Fred L. Brewer Jr. accounted for. The Defense POW MIA Accounting Agency announced that U.S. Army Air Force's 2nd Lieutenant Fred L. Brewer Jr., age 23, of Charlotte, North Carolina, who was killed during World War II, was accounted for August 10, 2023. In late 1944, Brewer was a pilot with the 100th Fighter Squadron 332nd Fighter Group, also known as the Tuskegee Airmen, in the European theater. On October 19, Brewer departed Ramatelli Air Base, Italy, as one of 57 fighters assigned to escort bombers to their targets in Regensburg, Germany. Virgin Galactic completes fourth successful flight in four months. Virgin Galactic completed its second private space tourist astronaut flight, Galactic 3. The mission flew three of Virgin Galactic's first customers. Galactic 3 was Virgin Galactic's fourth successful space flight in the past four months and the third flight of Virgin Galactic's inaugural commercial spaceflight season. The flight followed the company's first research mission in June and first private mission in August. Gulfstream G700 and G800 engines FAA certified. Almost ready for prime time, Gulfstream has confirmed that the Gulfstream G700 and Gulfstream G800 Rolls-Royce Pearl 700 engines have earned FAA certification, bringing the aircraft program another step closer toward entry into service and customer deliveries. The G700 and G800 feature high-speed aerodynamic Gulfstream wing design, as well as an all-new winglet design for the two new aircraft. 
Along with the Rolls-Royce Pearl 700 engines, these innovations help reduce fuel consumption and emissions. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. German hydrogen company completes liquid H2 flight. H2 Fly, a German hydrogen electric demo company, has successfully completed a test flight using its liquid hydrogen electric powered HY4 aircraft. The HY4 demonstrator was able to set a company record with a three hour flight, showing some promising performance that points to a max range somewhere around 1,500 kilometers. Compared to the previous gas hydrogen fueled HY4, that's about double the range, all thanks to the improved energy carrying capacity of liquefied fuel. The developer aims to create long-range, quickly refueled hydrogen electric powertrain systems for aircraft, as is the usual in the sustainable aviation niche. They too aim for the brass ring of liquid hydrogen fuels, offering far more energy efficiency than run-of-the-mill gaseous H2. H2 Fly's most recent test flights have proven that it can indeed load up an aircraft with the fuel and use it to complete a three-hour flight. Their HY4 demo aircraft was fitted with a hydrogen electric fuel cell, fed by cryogenically stored liquid hydrogen, which allowed for some promising performance while leaving plenty of kinks to iron out on the way to mass adoption. And after these messages, SoCal CAF wings Bearcat to see full paint job under restoration. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Throughout the globe, Piper Aircraft has hand-selected the very best in company representation, service, and support. From first inquiry to acquisition to product support, Piper Aircraft ownership is seamless and worry-free. Piper Aircraft authorized dealers, factory trained, factory connected. Welcome back. SoCal CAF wings Bearcat to see full paint job under restoration. An F-8F Bearcat operated by the commemorative Air Force will be needing a bit of love, with the aircraft prepped and ready to go on its way to a full restoration to airworthy condition. Produced by Grumman as one of the last of the production run, Bureau of Ordnance Number 122674, was tendered to the Navy a scant week before the very last Bearcat changed hands. That makes it one of the youngest of the naval superprops, entering service on April 7, 1949. The aircraft wound its way through the usual life cycle of a warbird in the early Cold War era, ending its service and languishing unappreciated in storage for years until a motivated group of operators wheeled it out into the daylight. The CAF acquired the Bearcat in 1991 in Chino, California, where it had been sitting for eight years. Assigned to the Southern California wing, the Bearcat needed plenty of handiwork to get back to fighting shape. Replacements for all fluid lines and electrical wiring did the trick, resulting in an airworthy aircraft once again. Since that initial work, the SoCal Wings Bearcat has been a, quote, mainstay at air shows ever since, end quote. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.